Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So, in the business world, there's something what you may have heard called the elevator pitch, or like the 60 second elevator pitch. Now, not by my strength, not by my might, but by the Holy Spirit, the Lord has just, uh, has just given me the 60 second Jesus pitch. So, I needed to get petrol. So I went to a petrol station and I started to fill my petrol up and I've, uh, and, and once before, specifically, uh, recently, I got the, the, the petrol that I put in, it was, I put in 33 pounds and 33 pence. So that then allowed me, when I went to the desk to pay for my petrol, that allowed me to say to the person, do you know what age Jesus Christ, the son of God was when he went to the cross? To which the person that I said a week or two ago, they didn't really know, I said he was 33. And I, I've just, I just done my petrol, 33 pounds, 33. I said, you'll, uh, you'll remember 33 for the rest of your life. You are chosen and not forsaken. But today God, take, God has taken it one step further. So I was looking to get, get it on 33, 33 again. So I was on 33, 29 and I was just inching it up, inching it up. And then, and then it got on to 33 pounds, 32 and I was just inching it up inching it up inching it up and then it went on to 33 pound 34 and I was going to leave it at that I took I took the I took it out and then the Lord said no take it to 33 77 because you're going to be telling them about my perfection my completion so my petrol was 33 pound 77 and it allowed me to speak to young Jamie as he was serving me for my petrol I said do you know how old Jesus, the Son of God, was when he went to the cross. And he was having a really good think. He's like, oh. was, he, was he 33? I said, yeah. I said, you'll remember 33. And seven, 77, God's perfection, completion. I just looked at Jamie, I said, you are chosen and not forsaken. The 62nd Jesus pitch. I encourage you to try it. God, God works in mysterious ways. How we can connect up people who are living in the world with the gospel, with the good news. All glory, praise and honour to God Almighty. You have been chosen not just to live in freedom, not just to have the eyes to see and ears to hear, not just to read your Bible, not just to listen to worship music, not just to pray. You have been called by name from your mother's womb to become a disciple of Jesus, to become a glory carrier, to be the hands and feet of Jesus, Agape Paul.